Hey, hey, welcome to Motivational Sundays with Kevin and Friends. I am your co-host and I'm joined with uh, a group of my closest friends. I got DL, Denise Lopes. Um, she is here, educator out of, out of Boston. Mom, birthday com coming up real soon. You know, smart hey. chick, celebrating her whole birthday for a whole 30 days. That's the way it should be. Mother yeah. and happy Mother's Day to, to, to the queens that are on the panel. I am also joined with uh, Trilinguist, got that right this weekend, Miss Barbara Holman, um, fairing out of Houston, Texas. Happy Mother's Day to you ahead of time. My brother, um, connected by all of our mothers, Bruce New Skill Hill, um, is joining us, co host with that today. Uh, Ife, uh, that go to guy. Um, entrepreneur, music uh, extraordinary, looking for talent all day long. And um, our quote today is uh, being brought to you, brought to us by Nahim Garcia. And for those of you that are just tuning in, um, this show was originally created from one of the more than 300 motivational quotes I created for the contents of my uh, three books, Sprinkles the True Spirit of Christmas, Indispensable Games of X's and O's, and dating with the full debt. With my over 40 years of studying human behavior, I was always curious how quotes landed, not only with me, but with other people. I was wondering if they were just words that laid there on a page or whether there's a conversation to be had. And this created this show. This space is designed not to make you comfortable, but to encourage you, to inspire you, to educate and to model and create a free framework that will make you think. So. Nahim um, Garcia, our thespian, is not here presently with us today, but um, he uh, did bring the quote over. And I am going to, uh, for our listeners, um, give you that quote and let you uh, sit on and think about it as you're driving, as you're going your way to church, or you're getting the kids ready, or you're just sitting back and watching the end of the, the draft or your NBA playoff. So the, today's quote is, if you're worried about someone taking control of your work, then your business is not in order. And that was brought to you by Net, our uh, actor, um, Narcia Garcia, Naheem Garcia. So um, I'm a Southern boy, so I'm going to say ladies first. And um, so our trilinguist, Miss Barbara Oldman, how does this quote land on you? Well, I was thinking about it and I feel like um, if somebody um, can take control of your work, um, then you are not unique enough because people can copy you. I feel if you are doing what you are doing, like for example here, if I see new skills, new you, then I expect some very specific skills that I can only get from him. And I feel like if that's the case, nobody can copy my style. And I think that's how every business should be. It should have this specific touch that makes you different than anybody else. It is like um, when I was still teaching in the public school system and you would leave a plan for the substitute, it was always a disaster. It was a wasted lesson. You came back the next day and nothing was taught. You could have written down every step and you come back, well, how was it? And we didn't understand it or she didn't write it down, but it, it just doesn't work if you're not there really conveying what exactly you want taught. Hey, that's a, that's a nice twist on, on that. And thank you for bring, bringing that. I also want to go ahead and give a shout out to um, uh, Aftershock. Um, they are the phone connector, conduction headphones that I've been using and we're testing it again this week. And um, I want to go ahead and um, we're going to take this over to Bruce New Skills uh, Hill, entrepreneur, master um, educator on the art of um, sales. Um, I think he has an, a new location. So, Bruce, how does this land on you? Hey, good morning. Bruce Hill, New Skills, New You. Uh, once again, a thought provoking set of words. So you mentioned I teach sales training. That's not particularly unique, right? That's not revolutionary or uh, innovative. And I think there's, there's two things. 
a lot of people are afraid to get started because they say, wait, someone else already thought of it. Someone else has already done it. And I always ask them, but have you done it? And then I had, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I had a, 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 a potential client that was recommended to me. I said, hey, how can I help you? He said, before we talk, I want you to sign an NDA. And I was like, an NDA for what? Or for anyone that doesn't know, you know, that's non-disclosure agreement. Right? I can't talk about it. And I told him, not so politely, I'll admit, I was like, whatever idea you have is not that original. Someone's already working on it somewhere. Your only hope isn't secrecy, it's speed. There's a huge competitive advantage of being first to market. He said, well, I, I just need an NDA until I get some investors. I was like, no, you don't. You're using this as an excuse not to take action. He's like, well, I just don't want anyone to steal my idea. I was like, they can't steal your idea because it doesn't exist. I said, he said, well, I've got to get investors so I can get it off the ground. And he kept saying that over and over again. And I challenged him. I was like, how many people have you asked for money? He's like, well, not anyone yet. I was like, then I have nothing to sign and I, I can't work with you because you haven't started yet. If you're worried about someone taking control of your work, you're focused on the wrong thing. Go get started. Go tell some people about your idea. So solve some problems. Go get some proof. And if it's really, really such a great idea, then you can trademark it. That is, go ahead. That's that's all I have to add for that one. <laughs> that 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 is a nice spin on that quote, yep. Mister New Skill Bruce Hill. Um, Bruce, what what have you been up to lately? Um, oh man, taking over the world. Uh, I published a uh, hey. first book, collaboration project. Working on a group coaching program. All right. I've uh, I've relocated to Atlanta, Georgia. All right. What part of Atlanta? I'm over here in Decatur, just east right. of the city. I, I was just there last week, week before last. Oh, snap. I was in Jonesboro. I, I, I wish I'd looked you up. Uh, quick, uh, how do people get in touch with you? We, we started a, a new um, format that, you know, we're promoting everyone and what they're doing on, on this. So I'm, I'm going to ask this twice today, but real quick, tell us about your book, um, how we get in touch with you. Okay. Um, it's new skills, new you everywhere. I respond most quickly on Instagram, new skills, plural, new you on one word, no spaces, dashes or underscores. All right. So we're going to go back to the show. Ife, that go-to guy, um, young entrepreneur, music, um, uh, mogul, you know, looking for talent, um, East coast, West coast, anywhere he can find coast. He's looking for someone that's unique. So if you are um, in that uh, space, talent, he's also a master of um, the spoken word and talking about someone can improv on, on a step of a dime. That guy can do it. Give him a word and huh, Ife will turn it into a hit record. All right, Ife, <laughs> if, you are, if you're worried about someone taking control of your work, then your business is not in order. How does that quote land on you? Um, it's it's the nature of the business. Pretty much, you you have to be so secure in your ideas or concepts that you're not worried about somebody telling you no or somebody not understanding it. And with that process, you have to make sure that you protect the the work that is yours. Um, all too often, people are scared to share their idea or scared to go forth um, with their genius because they're not sure the proper steps. But we have this thing called YouTube University and, and, and Google.com. If you don't know, Google it. If you don't know, look it up on YouTube. There's, there's so much information out there that there's really no excuse not to move forth and be great. All right. Spoken from the mouth of babes. Or simple and uh, sweet. I like it. There you go. Short and swim. 
And Denise Lopes, DP, DL, how you doing? Birthday coming up, educator yes, mom. Yes, I'm doing well. Yay, um, can't wait. Celebrate right. the whole month, starting today. <laughs> all right, we're all giving you loves. Our fans are giving you loves. Everyone's snapping, <laughs> clapping, and everything else. She's also um, a master of the spoken word. Uh, she, uh, she is also an author. And I'm, before long, I know everyone on this panel, because there's so many fantastic people are going to be authors. So Barbara, you know, we're kind of planting the seed right now for you. Um, so Denise, how does this quote land with you? For me, if you're worried about somebody taking control of your work, you're not passionate enough about it. You're not working on it every day. If you really want it, you're going to work. You're going to find resources. You're going to find people to teach you the skills. Like new skills, new you. And you're going to build your brand. And you're going to make yourself better to uh, sell your product or whatever you're doing. So if you're not working on it every day, you're going to work nine to five. Uh, and after getting home and just going to sleep and not doing anything else. Uh, you're not passionate enough for it. Another short to sweet. That's an educator lay, laying down the law of knowledge on, on it. So <clears throat> we, we've got a lot of great takes uh, on this. And I hope our, our, our listeners are, are making notes and, and uh, taking notes. Um, if you're worried about someone taking control of your work, then your business is not done. Um, as a human being, we start to adapt to our surroundings at about the age of two. So when I'm gonna take this on, on another um, twist, I always talk about things being taught and caught. So <clears throat> the, the most powerful influences on a child is the two people that are in their life when they are starting their life. And so human emotions start to make connections um, around the age of two. Some of us like, Denise, um, Bruce, Barbara, Ife, you guys may have made that connection coming out of the womb because you guys are on that genius level. Um, I was probably one of those people that probably caught it on a little bit later, but I'm glad I caught on. But what happens is, is that up until the point that we start making decisions on our own, we are duplicating the education that's been taught by our moms and dad or the people that influence us. So when you're worried about someone taking control of your work. As a parent, you want that child to be in control of his or her own life. But a lot of our children, a lot of us, we wander through life with things that we should have dropped off a long time, time ago. And so when I say your business is not in order, your business will never be in order until you take control, release the things that are holding you back, standing in, in your way, or those obstacles you are building um, in front of you that are pre preventing you from developing those new skills, preventing you from learning um, a, another language outside of the spoken word, preventing you from creating a lyric that may resonate with someone else through rhyme, through poetry, through rhythm, through tones, and so forth. And it may limit you to your ability to educate others to a new point of view. So when I look at this quote, I want you to focus in on your business, your goal, your life. Create a new yellow brick road for you. Do not follow the road easily traveled. Create a lane that creates your own space so you have a story to be told. So I'm going to pass this around one more time on, on the on, um, with the people that are on this team, my co-hosts. Denise, anything you want to leave with our listeners? Anything you want to share as life um, continues for you? Yeah, for me, it's not never give up because the day you give up is the day you're going to have a breakthrough. So never give up on your dreams. Always go for it. Bruce, new skills. What would you like our listeners to believe with? You know, despite all of the various backgrounds, there was a common theme in their responses is that it's your responsibility. And that's very interesting because you're worried about someone else still in our deal, which is possible. 
But one thing I've learned about ideas is there's always new ones and there's, and there's often better ones. Um, but we get so stuck on the one, we never get a chance for even better ideas. Uh, and I found the faster you execute on your ideas, the more frequent and increasing innovation the next ideas are. Uh, so take responsibility for, for acting on those ideas, y'all. The world needs some of your magic. Stop being afraid. Yeah, that's 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 wonderful. Um, Barbara. I was thinking about it. Um, I always think in culture and languages, I had such a good time just um, chatting a little bit in French with Denise. And to me, it is, I guess, specifically, you are never too old to learn a new um, trade especially a language because languages come with culture, culture comes with food. I am a foodie. So always go out, venture into the world, try something new and this will make life better. True that, <laughs> that go-to guy. I think the best thing we can do is to let go of ideas of stuff not going right. Let us be more afraid to not try then to fail and fail stands for what first attempts in learning so let us be afraid not to even try then to fail because some of life's greatest successes come right after the failures that we're scared to even to experience so let's not be afraid to fail but let's not but let's be afraid to not try thank you I, I I like your explanation of um, the acronym for fail. I love that. I'm going to start using that. Um, <laughs> I learned so much being around so many wonderful people. And I always say that if you're the smartest person uh, in your circle, get new friends. I am so glad that I, I have these friends. To my listeners, remember this. There's a common theme that's going on here. There's no such thing as original ideas. Bruce said it. It's the person that acts on it that makes it a, original. And it's all about you. Quit carrying someone else's baggage, their luggage, their problems, and whatever. Create your own and create a lane. I'm going to tell you, I am so happy for you guys sharing this space. And for those of you that have just tuned in, we meet every Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Time. I'm not going to go through the other times. Um, if you like what you hear and you want to hear some of the earlier uh, recordings of Motivational Sundays, go to our YouTube page at RMK Productions and Network. You can also follow and like us so you'll get an announcement letting know that we're going to do this. We're also going to be opening this up on a Clubhouse page. So we're going to do a earlier edition of this and open it up and we're going to kind of ha have this conversation and then we're going to go live with, with our crew. We're going to share this um, every Sunday. So we're working on that. I hope you enjoyed, to our listeners, this episode of Motivational Sundays with Kevin and friends. And again, I'll thank you, Denise, Bruce, Ife, and Barbara. As my grandfather always said, when you get to a place in your life that you can help someone else, it's your duty to do so. Reach one, teach one, and we'll fade to black. Thank you. All right, guys. That was good. That was good. Hey. Good to be back. Like, good to have you back. What are you yeah, been good to have you back, Bruce? Yeah. What have you been up to? Man, um, so I started I started a business. I do I close high ticket sales for companies. Um, so that's been like getting a lot of attention. And then adjusting to it's been about uh, I think this May will be month four, uh, living in Atlanta. So I think I got all the wrinkles ironed out. All right. Well, uh, I, I want to do something. We did it last week, and um, it was a uh, it was very personal. Uh, Mother's Day is coming up. Okay, so we're gonna give roses. I mean, Ife, myself, and um, Denise. It was the crying game. <laughs> I was uh, crying. Yeah, I yeah. started it. <laughs> yeah, she started it. Ife followed up, and I had to close it out. I fought it back. But um, Mother's Day, we're going to release this real quick. Um, Bruce, uh, mom, grandma, whoever was that queen in your life that inspired you, um, 
I want you to talk to her right now um, and wish her happy Mother's Day. Tell us her story. So talking to you or you want me to hang up and call her on the phone? No, no I want you to, we're going to release this, this clip to uh, and release it for Mother's Day. So it's going to be a tribute to your mom and you can mention her by name. Oh, well, shout out to my mom, my first investor. Uh, she believed in me and uh, she she always encouraged me to to keep going. Uh, even when I fell, you know, she asked me, what did I learn? And um, and her challenging me to think critically and explore ideas has been beyond impactful. And so I'm so thankful for you, mom. I love you. All right. What's your mom's name, Bruce? Loretta Hill. All right. We're going to do this all over again. Um, Barbara. To your mom. Yes, my mom's name is Helga, and she was always a very emancipated woman. So I love that about her. She always um, taught me you need to know everything yourself so that you don't depend on anybody, you don't depend on a man, you can do it all yourself. And I can, and I love it. Like I like I like to build shelves and um, put holes into things um, to put things together and um, and she always had those um, inspiring famous women in calendars every year so I grew up with them every female inventor and creator and I think she instilled creativity in me and I'm very grateful to it because it it sticks I can't and your, help it. and your mother's name I said it Helga Helga uh, Ife, let's do this over, over again. Let's um, it, let's it make it personal to your mom. And you can even do it in rhyme if you want to say it to mom. That's <laughs> quite all right. <laughs> all right. Well, um, thank you to my my mom for instilling um, a work ethic in me, um, for, for having my back when no one else would. Um, mom, thank you. Thank you so much. So from... From your firstborn, um, this is Ife. Thank you, Emma, for for being that mom. You know, she's West African, so you know she gave me some tough love. But oh, you know, yeah. I'm not here today, so <laughs> I'm thankful for it. All right, DL, go ahead. Tell your yes. mom. Okay, I have something. I'm gonna read it. It says, mother, a precious jewel, love, sacrifice, happiness, joy, one word, one meaning, one purpose. A mother is a teacher, a friend, a confidant, and a mentor. Someone who will love you unconditionally, no matter what. A mother's love is pressure, is caring, is pure, is selfless. A mother is a precious jewel. Love, sacrifice, happiness, joy, the breath of life. A mother should be celebrated every day. Happy Mother's Day, mom. My mom's name is Maria. I love you and thank you for all your sacrifice and for raising me and my sister as a single mom. You are my role model. Love you. All right. And I'm going to close it out. Norma Jean Lartig. Not often do we get uh, a do-over. And my mom, uh, she came out as a rock star with a do-over. The first part of, uh, of our life was a little rocky. Matter of fact, it was an avalanche, an earthquake, a firestorm. You, you name it, it was not perfect, but I'm gonna tell you, when, as I grew up and, and was able to appreciate it, my mother taught me grace. Um, um, she has been there um, as that rock to give me wisdom. She makes me smile every Sunday at two o'clock. Um, she's a diehard Cleveland Brown fan. So we celebrate the, the same team, win, lose, or die. And my brother keeps trying to make her a Cowboy fan. Mama, just wanna say you much love, much love, much love and with that said um, we'll end that thank you guys we're going to do the same thing for father's day so um be prepared all right um <laughs> anyone want to volunteer for the quote for next week i'll send one all right all right we will see you um next weekend and that is officially mother's day right yep all right and it's also officially your birthday my birthday's Friday, yeah, I celebrate the whole month. <laughs> All right, we have to do something special for you. All right, thank you again, Bruce. Welcome back. Um, um, send me your address because I've um, I've got a new great grandson that um, I don't know how far Jonesboro uh, is from where you're you're at, but if it's within 40, 50 minutes, I'll drive. 
All right. I, I love you guys much. I appreciate you. Um, enjoy your Sunday. It's a beautiful day today. Beautiful day to be you. Yep. Bye. All right. <laughs> Have See a nice Sunday. Bye-bye.